Although you've always been able to access WhatsApp notifications on your watch, now you can actually access the full-blown app of sorts. There's a dedicated app for Wear OS. So let's take a look. You scroll up to the app so you can see the WhatsApp. And you go on it, once synced, you have to see all your chats. So you can go through full list and just click into a chat. And you can see what's recently been sent. And you can send a message directly from there. You can either type or you can send a voice note as well. And you can go directly open that on your phone. So if there's a GIF, for example, GIF won't show up, but you can open it on your phone from your wrist and then be able to see the exact chat where you left off from your wrist. And so as well as having every chat on there, you also get a couple of tiles. So tiles are the widget type screens to the right of the watch face, which you're probably familiar with. So here we have one on WhatsApp. So you can have five recent chats that you can jump straight back into. So you have your, your faces there. Unfortunately, I've got a couple of contacts that don't have a face. We've got group chat there. You just tap on that and that'll take you straight to that chat. You have a different tile. Let's go back to that one. Oh, back a bit too far. So that one, and this is voice messages. So on this one, you can quickly tap. Oh, allow permission. And then it records an audio straight away. So you can send that straight to the person that you want to. Really handy. As I say, we've been on a watch. If you want to send a quick message to someone, that's probably the best way to do it. Just let someone know you're on the way. Maybe you're commuting. Maybe your hands are full. You just want to send it. You don't want to open your phone and go into WhatsApp and press and hold the record message. You can just do it straight from your wrist. For me, of all the WhatsApp features on the watch, that's probably the, the best one. So you've got the recent chats there. You can go into more and select a different one. Mum, I'll record a message from there. But the best way on this one, tap on it and it starts recording audio straight away. Everything else to me is just like using the phone but on a smaller screen. But that one I think is actual, I won't say game changer, but it is a, a good use case of why you'd want WhatsApp on your wrist. What do you think? Is there a point in having a WhatsApp app or would you rather just go to notifications and reply to messages that way? Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, new message.